Let's come back together. I know it's, it's a short time. And really, these little rounds, these little lightning rounds are meant to, you know, you can do this back at home. But I want to move to an even more challenging thing. So, so it's great that you've just done the assessment. But now what I want you to do is <laughs> to pray. So what I'd like you to do at tables, I know this is scary, but there'll be somebody there who'd be willing to do this in the parish team. So if you've got more than one parish team uh, at the table, what I'd like for you to do is to pray. Pr share a prayer. You can do it any way you want. One person can do it. You can do it together. Look at Roger Ferry. has got a big grin on his face back there. <laughs> share a prayer for God's guidance and provision for your parish. Go. So let's come back together. So if it made you nervous, uh, it's just information, isn't it? But I would urge you uh, to adopt uh, <coughs> the habits of prayer when approaching this subject because it's uh, a difficult subject and it's one we need assistance with. And so <coughs> that for me is a part of prayer life. So uh, 2A, then we're moving along. Awareness and clarity about our relationship with money. So for me, uh, then the question for us as leaders is, have we worked honestly with ourselves about our assumptions about money, our understanding of money, our habits related to money? So I'll just share a parish. Uh, I've been in, in visitations. I don't think uh, the parish is here and its representatives is here today. But um, uh, had some difficult financial uh, questions to deal with and which had to do with percentage of time of clergy. And I remember sitting in a room with the leaders and the clergy person as we discussed this, in which uh, the information had been shared with the parish council that, that unless actually the time moved up, this particular clergy person was going to have to leave. It, it was very honestly put forward. I, I wasn't actually uh, prepared that it was going to be put forward on my visitation, but you work with what happens, you know, and sometimes your coming makes things happen. And as I saw the parish leaders, uh, it really occurred to me they themselves were not on, on the same kind of plane about how they viewed money, is expenditure, is it investment in the future, how did they see their investments, how did they see their opera, just all the assumptions about money were, were all over the map and it wasn't a unified understanding. They had not kind of gone through that difficult conversation about how they understood what money actually was, what it was used for, how they understood their future related to money. And this was a parish where growth had been actually happening, small place where growth had actually been happening. I thought, wow, they're going to lose this person. And, uh, but this unconscious or not talked about area needed to be brought to the surface. And this would be true in places that don't believe they have a lot of money, in places that do believe they have a lot of money. What's it about? What's the personal stuff we're bringing? Each of us differently are bringing to that. What's our common understanding, as much as we can have one, about what this money means, what giving means in the context of our lives? So look at two. You won't have an exercise related. To, you won't have to share about how you grew up in money. I, I could tell you a lot of stories about that from my own life. Uh, look at two, and this is your assessment. We have worked honestly with ourselves, ourselves as a team, or those on individual, their impressions, about money, our understanding of money, and our habits related to money. One is strongly disagree, six is strongly agree. So just mark it. Don't think too much about it. What's your sense of your leadership in this place, in this dimension? We ourselves, this is the leaders, the leaders of, of this effort or of the parish. You can use either understanding. We've made, we've made a decision about our own financial, our own generous financial commitment. Remember leaders, 
they have more influence in systems. So it can't be, I think it was maybe both of our speakers said, you can't just kind of hope something will happen here without it happening in here first. We ourselves have made our own generous financial commitments to God's mission through the church. That is a financial pledge to the parish. And here I'm talking about money primarily. And we are ready to make this public in some way. That is, my pledge is blank dollars for this upcoming year, or my percentage, this is the percentage I'm doing. In some way where we're surfacing, we're you know, pulling back the, the curtain and stepping forward and saying, and here's my check, <laughs> you know, and here's my check. Or my PAD. So generous is your definition, and I think this is so much about, again, our being in this together. Our being in this together. You know, this is not, yeah, the, the, the whole uh, kind of secrecy thing about it and, and this, this feeling that we're not actually trying to walk a path, a path of progress, a path of complexity, a path of honesty together is, is what, for me, holds it back. So again, these are my, I was asked to come up with my, my ones, and, and I thought, should I say this? And I thought, yes, I'm going to say it. So uh, 2B, so look in the thing you wrote in, just one, this is with this idea, strongly disagree with this in terms of our leadership, or, or str strongly disagree or strongly agree. So um, mark it really quickly. Now have a conversation at your table about both of those marks and your thoughts and feelings about it. 